the Sultan Abdul Samad building is one of Malaysia's heritage building and a famous and historic landmark in the federal capital. It is situated right at the heart of Kuala Lumpur. Directly opposite the building are the famous Royal Selangor Club and the Independence Square Dataran Merdeka which acquired its name because it was at the very spot that the Union Jack flag was lowered down on August 31, 1957 and the new flag of the Federation of Malaya was hoisted. This marked the passing of an era and the birth of a newly independent nation, the Federation of Malaya. Sultan Abdul Samad Building is located at 325 Jalan Raja. On one side of the Sultan Abdul Samad Building, across the Gombak River, are the subordinate courts, the former High Court Building and the Jamek Mosque. On the other side is the former General Post Office building which is now houses the Court of Appeal Registry, Infocraft Textile Museum or General Department of Public Works. Next to it, it is the Malaysian Handicraft Centre and further down is the Dayabumi building which is the first Malaysian turnkey system building. In the middle of 19th century, when Sultan Abdul Samad ruled Selangor, the resident of British had welcomed many Chinese to Malaya which the main reason was the attraction of the tin mines open in Malaya. One of the states, Selangor had mines near the area where Gomba and Klang rivers met. In 1863, came a man named Yap Ahloy, who is a brave and genius man who built a village which has developed to be a city, Kuala Lumpur. Under Yap Ahloy, this village grew and prospered with a small population of 4,054 in 1884 to 25,000 in 1896, marking a six-fold increase in just 12 years. The Sultan Abdul Samad building was constructed at the end of the last century and the site was chosen because of its central position. Arthur Charles Alfred Norman, often referred to as AC Norman, a British architect who worked for the Public Works Department in Kuala Lumpur, in designing the existing building took into consideration some of the features of buildings in several Islamic countries. The predominantly Moorish appearance of the building suitably reflects the cultural background of Malaysia. Construction began on September 3, 1894. The foundation stone has been laid by Sir Charles Bullen Hugh Mitchell, the Governor of the Federated Malay State FMS, on October 6, 1894. The building had been completed within three years and had been officiated by Swettenham, who had been promoted to Resident General of the FMS by then. As far as design is concerned, the front facade of the building stretches 137.2 meters along Jalan Raja, making it the largest building of its day. It features a shiny copper dome and immense 41.2 meters clock tower that was erected for the first time during Queen Victoria's 1897 birthday parade. A central porch, three copper domes topped with copper chartres and various shaped arches, keyhole, ergy, pointed, and horseshoe. Built entirely of red bricks, it has a 2 meter wide veranda around both floors that allows light and air to flow in. The red bricks are exposed and are lined with white plaster arches and stripes that have become known as the blood and bandage style. Indian pattern stone with Islamic geometric design was used for flooring. The dome was one of the most prominent features of mosque and as to this building. The three domes originally made of timber and bricks and painted black now are replaced with copper cladded domes. 
The central dome is however unusual and it was actually an integration of two traditional features, the dome and the kiosk. It is placed on top of the clock tower flanked by two smaller domes with descending spiral staircase. The domes are painted gold in color to give attraction and symbolic our richest country. The external walls were mainly made of with red clay bricks while the interior walls were rendered. Two parts of the facade has have horizontal bonding in alternate course of bricks and white painted plastic strips. The clock tower on the axis seems to be balanced by the two turrets. Without the turrets, the design might not be successful as the central tower looked too tall and not of place. The location of the clock tower at the central of the building shows the symbolic of our country as democratic, Islamic and stability economic country. Whether it was dome on purpose or by accident, the spiral staircases in the turrets tend to point up to the tower, thus accentuate the importance of it. The turrets and both projecting ends help to break up a flat facade. The four small domes that crown the supporting press for the porch resemble this from India Moss. Mirror of Strength and Resilience This building is an icon of the capital had been the local point of many historical events. It is witness to the declaration of independence and it was in front of this building that the Union Jack was lowered and replaced with the national flag of Malaysia. At the stroke of midnight on August 31st, 1957, National Day parades have been held in front of this building for decades as have many other significant national events. The official architecture was very much influenced by North Indian and Moorish styles. Most of the buildings were put up to designs by unknown amateurs, bricklayers, soldiers or even priests who had learned the rudiments of construction during their service in England, India and other parts of the empire. The Sultan Abdul Samad building is one of the most well-known as the landmarks in the city. It was recommended that an oriental style would be more suitable with the tropical and cultural environment here and hence the Moorish style which was a mixture of European function and Islamic form were chosen for the exterior of the building. This style was later adopted for the design of most public buildings in Kuala Lumpur built in the period that followed. It has been listed as National Heritage since 2007 by the National Heritage Department. From the fact that Malaysia expects Ringgit Malaysia 100 billion in tourism revenue in 2020. It shows that government emphasizes the tourism industry as a major contributor to economy and the Sultan Abdul Samad building has played an essential role in developing the tourism industry and Malaysia's economy.